Hey everybody, Eric here. Today we're going to be working out our abs and our arms, both our biceps and our triceps on the bow flex. Now I'm working out on an exceed. You can do this routine on any upright bow flex. It looks like this extreme PR 3000. All those should work. Now throughout this routine, you're going to see me writing down all of my uh, resistance settings and the number of repetitions I did on this. And there's a link to a free PDF download that you can do uh, so you can follow along. And uh, the reason I'm writing everything down, well, first off, we're doing rep based work in this routine. And the second part is this is part of a larger workout program that I'm releasing on the channel called extreme muscle. And we're going to be revisiting all of these routines multiple times as part of that program. And when you come back to this routine, first off, you're going to know exactly the weight setting you did last time, but then also you are going to be tasked to try to beat those numbers, whether that's increasing the resistance by a little bit, or maybe putting out one or two more repetitions. And that's how you're going to get stronger by having this data that you can come back to and beat what you did last time. So uh, be sure to check that stuff out. Uh, there'll be a link to a playlist of all of those videos. All the routines are for free here on YouTube. If you need a little bit more advice though, you can purchase the program and that supports me directly. It's going to give you advice on uh, what to do on your off days, what frequency you should be doing these routines, what your should, diet should look like as you're doing this. So uh, check that out. And again, that supports me directly. I appreciate any purchases through there, but I appreciate all of you joining me on this routine. And uh, before we get into it, I need to explain a few more things. I've got my pulleys in the second narrowest position up here, and then I'm starting them out run down here on the bottom set of pulleys in the middle position. I'm also going to be using the normal stock Bowflex handles that are a little bit longer. Um, and the reason for that is we're going to be starting things out with some bicep curls and I need the extra cable length to do a full repetition. So uh, just the normal Bowflex setup here, I won't even be using the elastic bands. I have the 310 pound upgrade kit on mine and that is enough resistance for me for all of these different exercises. So uh, one piece of gear that you are going to want if you're on a hard surface like me is a yoga mat or a towel or something because we're going to be lying down on the ground for part of this. We're going to be doing some uh, leg pulls to crunches and that's kind of nice to have. Uh, I just have just a normal towel to towel off and a glass of water as well because uh, this is a pretty long routine and uh, I know I'm going to get pretty sweaty throughout it. So uh, there will not be a warm up as part of this routine. This is a little bit more advanced one on the channel. So uh, if you're not loosened up already, I'd encourage you to do that and then kind of loosen up your arms and your midsection because those are those muscles that we'll be hitting today. So uh, I hope you also give this video a like because a lot, a lot of work <laughs> went into doing this uh, you know, video in this routine. This is actually the seventh time that I'm doing this, uh, this exercise routine here. And I hope you find that it flows really well. And that's because I put a lot of work into it. So just give uh, the video a like that's going to help other people find this workout. So with all of that out of the way, I hope you have a good time with this routine and I'll see you right back. All right, hope you're all warmed up and stretched out because bicep curls are coming up first in a minute and 25 seconds. So let's rack up our resistance. I'm gonna be racking up 120 pounds of power rods on each side. Now you can do whatever resistance makes sense to you and you're gonna have the opportunity to adjust the weight setting between every single set if, if you so choose. So, um, you know, we're all at our own levels and find a resistance that uh, works well for you. You want something that's going to be difficult to complete the number of reps that you're doing, but not impossible. And that's actually something I forgot to mention in the warm up is I'm going to be doing 10 repetitions or at least trying to do 10 for every single set. You know, you can do a different number of reps. You need to have a number in mind that you're targeting though. And that could be six, eight, 10, 12, whatever you want. Get that number in mind right now. And I might be doing 10. You can also remove the seat. Don't put it too far away because we'll be picking that up later in the routine. So first lift is going to be bicep curls where we're going to be facing the tower here. And I like having one foot in front of the other just with a small bend. And that's going to help me complete this full repetition. And I'll just be curling this weight up just like this going nice and smooth. So everybody be getting ready to join me. Basically when the clock has 10 seconds on it, I want you in position, ready to go for your next set so you don't fall behind. So everybody, let's get in position and I'll be counting our reps here. Here's one, two. Now I like releasing the weight nice and slow. There's three, four. Now you should be exhaling as those power rods bend. That's five, six, 
seven, eight, and stay with me. Nine. And 10. So I've got all of our work intervals programmed in here for 30 seconds of work. That's three rep or three seconds per repetition. I might be a little bit fast, a little bit slow. That's kind of what I'm targeting. But just keep, you know, doing the reps all the way through the whole set there. So I got my 10 reps in. And we're just going to be running this same exercise back uh, four times in a row. So this little one minute rest interval, this is your time. I want you to recover. And then when that 10 seconds is on the clock, I want you in position and staying with me. So let's get in position here. And as you do these, don't put any momentum in here. Stand up nice and tall and curl it up. There's one, two. Three, four, five, six, nice and smooth, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, nice work. So as you're doing these curls, it's really tempting to be kind of throwing your hips and then your lower back into it. I want you trying to stand up nice and tall. Uh, you do have that little bit of bend in your legs, but don't you know put a lot of sway with your core muscles into this because that's that's going to remove some of the, the isolation on those biceps. Got a few more seconds. Everybody, let's get in position. I'm going to alternate the foot that's closer to the machine. Here we go. Let's curl it up. That's one. Two. Three. Try to lower the weight nice and slow. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. All right. One more set of those coming up. I wasn't sure if I'd need my weightlifting gloves or not. I'm already sweating pretty good here. So if you don't have any of these, uh, they help just get a little bit better grip on the handles if you're sweating a lot. Which, you know, I think I'll be doing here. Hopefully you'll get a good sweat going too. This is gonna be our final set of these curls. And uh, after that, we're going to be doing some more bicep work. It's going to be a little bit different of an exercise though. So let's get in position. Last set of these. There's one, two, three, exhale on the way up, four, five, six, as many as you can do here. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, all right. So we've got a little bit extra rest time between this set. Now I'm gonna adjust my weight just a little bit. I'm gonna add 10% more resistance to the machine here. So I'm going up to 130 pounds of power rods. 
And we're going to be doing an isolation curl. <laughs> in which we're only going to be curling with one side of our body at a time. And for that, I'm going to be in this kneeling position here, grabbing the handle and then curling up. And I'm going to be resting just above my elbow on my thigh here. Now, if you can't get in a nice low position like this, try a few different things to get comfortable. You could even be sitting down. You want to have just a little bit different angle with the machine because what we're trying to do is hit the bicep at a little bit different spot. And I think the, the curls we were just doing there hit the lower bicep. And if we start down lower like this, it can hit a little bit more of the higher bicep. So I'm going to go ahead and get in position here. And I'm going to just be, again, resting the back of my arm here against my thigh. And I'm going to curl this weight up and in. So here we go. Here's one. Two. Three. Get a full range of motion here. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So we got a shorter rest interval here, and that's because we were only doing one side of the body, and the other side has been resting the whole time. So I think I got 40 seconds programmed in between each one of these one arm curls. So you got a little less time to recover here. I think it, it should be good though. We got to keep this all moving here. So let's get in position. We're going the other direction. So I'm going to have my back to y'all. I curl it up. That's two for me. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, thirty five seconds of rest. That's what it is. So we're going to be doing that one more time on each side. And then we're going to be switching into those leg pulls to crunches that I mentioned at the start of this routine or, or during the intro, I mean. All right, let's get in position. Here we go. That's one, two. Three, four, squeeze those biceps, really check your biceps out here. This is going to really get them flexing. That's seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, our rest interval is almost out. Let's get squatted down and get ready to go here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, watch your biceps establish, you know, that mind muscle connection there. There's eight, nine, and 10. All right, give yourself a little flex, feel those biceps, and uh, let's, uh, let's get ready for those leg pulls to crunch. 
Now, I'm going to be dropping my weight down a little bit. I'm going from 130 pounds on each side down to 100 pounds on each. And then I'm going to go lie down on my yoga mat with these handles opened up and attached to my feet here. So put your feet right through the handle here. And then we're just going to do a series of crunches here. And I'm actually... I might be doing, we'll keep it at the 10 here, but if you want, you can go a little bit longer as well. And as you do this, you're going to pull the weight in towards your body as you go into a crunch and up. And I want you alternating back and forth. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going for 15 here. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, let's write that down. I was right before I got into that, I was about to say I'm going to do 15, but I got a little pensive there. And uh, as I started getting into it, it's like, yeah, I can do 15. So if you got a couple extra reps, let's do them on these ab exercises. I'm going to go 15 again here. Let's get in position, alternate those feet, and raise up one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. Okay. Now, if you're struggling to get your shoulders and your abs up, uh, or your shoulders and your head and everything up off the ground, keep doing those reps, except just pull the weight in. And you're going to still hit kind of your lower abs if you're doing that. Okay, we're at the 10 second mark. Why well, y'all getting ready and get in position here to join me. In three, two, one, let's raise it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. Now, as I was doing that set, it did occur to me, I'm doing more of a sit-up than a crunch here. And uh, I think that kind of happened because I'm just trying to stay on camera. So a crunch should be just a little bit less off the ground. I'm going all the way up in a full sit-up position. But, uh, you know, do uh, find something that's uh, feeling good to you. We got one more set of these. And then after this, we're going to move into reverse bicep curls. It'll be an easy transition for that here. You just got to get through this exercise. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got this. Eleven, 
12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. Okay, so next we're moving into a reverse bicep curl. The setting that you had for the very first set, which was our first exercise, which was bicep curls, I want you going back to that weight setting. So I'm going to 120 pounds on each side. And, uh, and then we're going to be doing these curls here in just a second. Okay. Sometimes I have to walk off camera, make sure things are still recording. <laughs> and uh, that's what that's all about there. All right. So for this, we are going to be leaning back with our back up against the backrest here. And then we're going to take these handles and then we're just going to curl them up towards our shoulders. Now, what I want you doing is thinking about almost like as if your elbow is attached to your side here and you're just rotating up like this here. So back firmly against the backrest. That's going to be a small bend in the knees here. And we're going to curl up. That's two. Three. Four. Stand up taller if you need more resistance. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, full one minute rest interval. We're back to full minutes here. For full recovery. So we've got three of these in a row coming up, or three in total. Let's all get in position back squarely against the backrest here. And here we go in two, one, let's curl. That's one. You can raise quickly, hold it for half a second and then slowly lower. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, Exhale on the way up. Eight. Nine. And ten. There we go. Let's write down those reps and resistance setting here. So this is going to be our final set through this bottom set of pulleys. And after this one, we're going to basically remove... The, uh, the handle from here, and we're gonna clip him in up here. And then we're gonna take this pulley position here and move from the second narrowest out one wider. And it's gonna set us up for some tricep work. But let's finish this out. I think we have a 90 second rest interval where we move this resistance around and, uh, and then get ready. All right, everybody, I want you with me here. A few more seconds. Let's curl, curl it up. There's one, two, three, four. Exhale on the way up. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. I think that's our last bicep exercise. 
Yeah, that's our last bicep exercise of this routine. And now we got to start moving our pulley position around. So I'm going to just unclip my cable or my handle from down here. And then I'm going to clip it in right up here. And then this cable here, I just kind of like tossing it back behind the machine. And then I'm also going to move our pulley into the second widest position. So taking it out just a little bit. And then finally that seat that we removed, we are putting it right back. Now I'm going to put mine a little bit lower than I would do like a chest press, which would be up here. And I'm going to actually bring it down one setting. So mine's actually in the middle position. And then we're going to kick things off with some one arm tricep kickback. So what I like doing here is I have one knee on the, the seat of the machine. Oh, I need to adjust my resistance here. All right, I'm gonna drop my resistance down to 100 pounds. So I'm dropping about 20% of resistance here. So I'm back down to 100 pounds of power rods on each side. So here we go, I'm gonna have one arm on the backrest, my knee on the seat, and then I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna rotate my handle here, just about 90 degrees. So I'm gonna be fully extended like this, and then halfway, and then extend. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now, as you do these, I like trying to pretend this, uh, my elbow here is the middle of a circle and I'm just tracing the outline. And so I'm trying to keep that middle of the circle exactly where it's at and I'm just moving the handles around it. So I'm gonna just switch sides to the other arm now and we have that shorter rest interval because we're only working out half the body at a time. So I did 10, take a mental note of how many you did and you're gonna complete the same amount on the other side here. All right, let's get in position and let's flare it out, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's write down our resistance here. And I'm, I'm struggling on these. Um, my form is getting a little bit worse as I go. So I'm actually going to drop my weight to 90 pounds on each side here. I think that's going to help. And now let's get in position and let's go. Two, one, and extend it out. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. You're just tracing the outline of that circle. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One more of those to go. Now with that heavier weight setting, I felt like I was moving my elbow around a little bit too much. And that's why I dropped it down. You know, a little struggle, a little bit of movement, that's okay. But really try to minimize that, you know, focus on getting that technique right. There's one, because getting the right motion is really important for, for preventing injuries and also helps build muscle too. Five, that's six, that's seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. And the way that helps build muscle more is that if you're, you know, flaring out or if you're moving around a bunch, that's recruiting other muscles in your body to help support that that weight setting that you're doing. And if you can really isolate that muscle, that's going to really help uh, in growing that one specifically. So. Let's write down our resistance. I'm going to keep my resistance the exact same, and we're going to be doing some more one-arm work. And this one's going to be a cross-arm extension. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sit down, and then I'm going to grab the handle with the arm that was that was on the rest break there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically extend this handle across my body here. And so this cable is running right over my shoulder. It's not touching it just right above it, and then we flare it out, and then slowly retract it. And we're really hitting them, the tricep down there. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Mental note of the amount of reps you just did there because we're going to do it on the other side. One other thing I, I forgot to mention here too, when I'm extending this out, my elbow is a little bit further out than shoulder width apart, and then I'm stretching it all the way out here. So getting a lot of range of motion in this position here. So let's grab those handles, get in position for this next one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Another short rest interval. We're going to hit both sides one more time each. I also just realized I like having the hand that's not doing the extension actually gripped onto the seat kind of between my legs here. Uh, I guess it just gives me more stability. There isn't necessarily a spot that arm needs to go, so give this a try at least. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You should be getting real tough now. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. One more on this other arm, and uh, then we're going to be moving these pulley positions up to this top rung up here where we're doing some uh, crunches coming up. Let's grab that handle. All right, let's flare it out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, you got this. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move this resistance setting up now, or the, um, the pulley position up to this top set right up here. And I am also gonna be changing my resistance setting. So I'm going from 90 up to 100 pounds. I'm adding just a little bit here. Thank you. 
and we're going to move into uh, some crunches up first, and then we're going to do some torso twists. And I think my go a little off script here. We're going to do one set of crunches, and then we're going to do torso twist, and then for we'll have two more sets to go after that. So we're doing five ab exercises in a row here, or five ab sets. And then for sets number four and five, you can choose if you want to do torso twists or if you want to do a couple more sets of crunches. So let me get in position here for crunches. Basically, I'm going to be seated here and I'm going to grab these handles, right? I'm bringing them down so they're a little bit over my shoulders here. And then I'm going to go down in a crunch position like this here. And I like having my feet up off of the machine, though you can plant them. And then you're gonna crunch down as a whole rep here. So that's one, two. Now, if you have your feet wrapped up like this, just be careful on your knees. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, doing 12, 10, 11, and 12. So the reason with, with your knees, right, you can kind of have them wrapped up here or something. And that allows you probably to do a little bit more weight because you get more leverage and uh, it puts a lot of tension in your knees. So personally, I like keeping my knees off of the machine. I did trying to raise up a little bit with my, uh, I guess with my thighs and my knees off the ground just a little bit as I do my set. So. So next, we are going to be doing a torso twist here. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to grab the handles right up here. And then I have one foot kind of up against the base of the machine. And I'm going to grab both of the, the handle with both hands here. And then I'm going to twist out just like this here. And I'm going to basically have my whole body twisting as I go. And I want all of the tension to be in my midsection as I do this. I'm going to be doing 10 of these here. So there's a twist and then really try to slowly release. So I like chopping kind of quickly, hold it for a second then slowly release. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're just going to end up switching sides here for another set of torso twists. So after this one, you can do more crunches or you can do more torso twists, you know, whatever is feeling like it's engaging your abs the most and what you're feeling this day. Now, I thought about shortening our rest intervals on these, but I felt like I shortened up the rest intervals on so many other reps or so many other sets today. So uh, I wanted to give us the full recovery time for all this app work. So again, one foot kind of on the outside of the machine, kind of resting up against the foot of it. And then I'm going to go extend my arms out and kind of chop until I retract. So there's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So those were the torso twists there. And you got two more ab exercises, dealer's choice, either sit up or more torso twists. I'm gonna go into sit ups. So we got these two ab exercises and then we've got, let's see, three more tricep extensions. It's gonna be from the seated position here. So you are almost done here. Got about five more minutes.
Okay, everybody, let's get in position here and get ready to go. Let's finish this routine out strong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, if you're doing the sit-ups, uh, another thing you could do is instead of using these handles, you can use the ab harness if you got it. Um, I, I actually have found I really like doing them with the handles. I might actually like it better than with the ab harness. And I kind of want to keep it really simple and easy to follow along, not changing a bunch of stuff. So that's why I'm going with the handles. But if you'd like the harness better for sit-ups, go for it. Okay, final set of ab work. And then we're gonna keep our pulleys in the same position as our final set of tricep stuff. So let's get ready to go here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, there we go. Coming into our final exercise, and that's going to be that tricep extension. And I'm going to keep the same weight setting. I, no, actually, I'm going to drop the weight a little bit. I'm going to 80 pounds of power rods on both sides here. So I'm cutting my weight here by about 20%. Uh, this is, let's see, relative to my other tricep exercises. When I did the one arm tricep kickback, I did 90 pounds on both sides. I'm doing 80 now. So roughly the same amount, a little bit less though. And what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm actually going to drop the seat now to its lowest position here. And you'll see why in just a second here. When I sit down now, my hands are ending up, I have to reach up above my head to, to fully extend here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then put my hands kind of together here. And as I go back, they're gonna kind of stay above my head here. And then I'm gonna extend these handles out. So just like this here. So it's a little bit above my head and then extend out. Now if that position or that, orientation is weird to you. Let me show you an alternate. And that's just to do it on the sides here. And you're going to be doing one arm kickouts like this. So that's two. I'm going to go up above my head though. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So again, I'm either going out above my head here like this, or I'm going to the sides. And we got two more sets of those. So let's finish out strong, everybody. So you can see kind of why I like dropping the seat a little bit further, because if my seat is up higher, then I'm actually, as I go back, my handles are kind of bumping into my forehead. Uh, if you're a lot taller than me, you're probably still running into that regardless though. Um, and that side motion is probably gonna be a little bit better for you then. Okay, let's get in position, extend those arms. And here we go. There's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, final set to go. For this final set, I want you doing as many repetitions as you can do. There's you know, no point in leaving anything in the tank from here. So let's give it all you got here. And then let's be proud of ourselves for finishing this, this whole routine out. This is not an easy one. I think it's over 40 minutes of, uh, of work here. So good on you. Let's get in position. Here we go. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. Awesome job, everybody, on finishing this routine on out. You can go ahead and remove those power rods from tension. We're going to wrap them up with a bungee cord. Great job again. Hope your arms are feeling big and your abs get a nice burn in after this workout. I want to give a big shout out to all my elite Ko-Fi members. They help support me in this channel and make videos like this possible. There's a link in the description below if you want to join that. I'll get you access to the full extreme muscle program with extra advice and all this other great stuff. So thank you everybody for joining me. Big shout out to Matt MG. He's my newest elite member and a big shout out to all of you. Great job on finishing. Be good to yourself. Be good to others.